Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with a nice one here. An appropriate time to do this one. 2022 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer. Six box, pick your team number 15. All cards ship. A lot of amazing stuff in here. And uh, no filler. Big thanks to everyone here for making this happen. Pick your team 15. First half of a fresh case. Jason, last spot mojo, Portugal. And Steven with the 11 team combo featuring those teams right there. So this is not road to the World Cup. This is actually proper World Cup. So all the just the 32 qualified teams are in here. Sealed case. These prism cases are a bit of an awkward size. I'm not sure if I have enough real estate here. Six. Empty box. All right, so we'll roll the die. We'll select this nice Liverpool red die right here. One, two, three for this side. Four, five, six for this side. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do that stack right here. So the left six is in the store right now. Pick your team 16. So we'll, I'll scribble 16 on these boxes so you know that they're from the same case. With a little luck, I think with a little bit of luck, we might be able to break these uh, tonight, the second half tonight. And away we go. One autograph per box on average. Looking for national landmarks, the manga, the color wheels. Those are all the, um, the super short prints. Maybe one per case? Maybe a little bit shorter print than that. But that's what we're looking for. Thanks everyone for making this happen. Once again, second half in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Over the weekend, um, Saturday morning, the USA Netherlands match was on at six a uh, no at seven a.m. my time here in Los Angeles. Went to a uh, watch party in downtown LA at a place conveniently called Tom's Watch Bar. It's pretty much one of the cooler sports bars that I've seen in LA just because of its size. It, it kind of looks like a, feels like a, almost like a Vegas sports book. A lot of booze, good food, downtown LA, pretty exciting place. Doors open at 6.30. I got there around 6.30 and the line was around the block. It was already like a 
couple hundred people deep by the time I got there to meet up with some friends. Um, the uh, a lot of energy out there, a lot of people excited about about U.S. soccer, which I was I was thrilled to see. So, I mean, guys like him make the game exciting. Oh, did word get out? Maybe that was it. Word got out that I was, that I was going to be at that, that party. I should have been more incognito. There's no Lang for the Netherlands, for the Orange. That'll be for Rob. And there's Nicolas Otamendi. To 399 for Argentina. Um, yeah, but started to watch the match. Had enjoyed a uh, a beer or two. It's Kingsley Coleman. He's cracked ice is not numbered, but all cards will ship. There's Boulaye Dia for Senegal. That's going to be part of the combo. That'll be for Steven. Here's a base rookie, Ricardo Pepe, who did not make the team this year, but that is his rookie card. So in about four years, he could be a big part of the, uh, of the U.S. men's national team. Yeah, could use a, could use a proper... Use a proper goal scorer. I think that's what the U.S. team needs. It's hyper parallel. There's Karim Adeyemi to 399 for Z Germans. That will be for Matthew. So surprisingly an early, early exit for the Germans. Rookie Silver, Felix Afena Guyan. And there's Gary Neville. International Inc. autograph for the three lines. That'll be for Stephen and England. Who I think is a pundit now for uh, Sky Sports. I think him along with Jamie Carragher. There's Carlo Toko Egambi to 199 for Cameroon. Ooh, nice. Uh, see, these silver ones are pretty cool. I think they're, they're certainly a little bit more short printed. So go to Rob in Spain. We'll do an autograph recap at the end of the break. Here's Justin Bijlo, rookie pink for the orange. Oops, sorry. Canada, there's Alistair Johnston, 228 out of 299. It's for Sean Maddock in Canada. All right, that's box one. But yeah, pretty pretty fun experience at a at a watch party. A lot of interest, and I could I could see, I could see uh, it growing to. Uh, I think our best chance to to go deep into a World Cup, I think, will be in four years when it's here when the World Cup is in North America, shared between shared between Mexico, United States, and Canada. Couple chances. Christian Pulisic almost, almost knocked in a goal early on. I think that would have been a huge momentum changer. But, but the uh, the first goal by the Netherlands deflating. Second goal even more deflating. But then there was a sign of life. 
When we scored that goal when it was 2-1, the entire place erupted. It was amazing. High fives with strangers. It was awesome. A lot of USA chants, of course. And the third goal. We had our chances, though. I think we had our chances. So all those, all those young guys on our current squad will be four years older, hopefully healthy, and hopefully they've been evolving each year. And if they do, it could be a dangerous team. Yeah, and, and a lot of soccer fans in LA. 96 out of 99 in Golo Kante. I'm an old school guy. I'm an LA Galaxy guy for sure. They've been around forever here, but yeah, I mean, Los Angeles is definitely a market that could sustain, sustain two teams. It's Thiago Silva. And more England, Frank Lampard. Wow, we're going back to that Gary Neville, Frank Lampard era. Taking, taking us back. Stephen Carney with England, part of this uh, golden generation here. So-called golden generation. There's Granit Zaka to 299. We'll see uh, Switzerland in action tomorrow. Portugal, Switzerland. Mark saying, I have Croatia... And Spain left for, for his, uh, his quote-unquote investments. Those aren't bad. There's a Bamba Dieng. Rookie Refractor for Senegal, and it's for part of the combo. There's Coutinho, Hyper Parallel. Not numbered, by the way, but again, all card ship. And we got Takumi Minamino, former Liverpool player, 115 out of 299. Nice little uh, color match there. That'll be for Japan, David, with Japan. Great run for, for Japan. But both Japan and Korea crashed out of the World Cup. Australia as well. They're all actually all part of that same conference. This might have been the most... I think this might have been the most... Uh, teams from the from the Asian conference that we've seen in a long time long time it's Jonathan David for Canada another young team that should make some noise in four years they were great in qualifying there's Junya Ito to 399 for David in Japan I think Australia Japan and Korea would be part of that that conference There's Gianluca Busio for the U.S. It'll be for Sean Maddock. There's Ao Tanaka, rookie silver for David in Japan. All right, another box down, another box to go. The way the bracket set up, there could have been, yeah, the way the bracket set up, there could have been a uh, Japan-Korea quarterfinal matchup if Japan had beat Croatia and if Korea had upset Brazil. That would have been a hell of a matchup. 
sort of like an England-France matchup, which is happening uh, in about five days. There's a pathway for Brazil and Argentina to see each other. If Argentina beats the Netherlands, and if Brazil beats Croatia, not a given for either team, but if they can do that, then they'll see each other in the semifinals. That'll, that's going to be a hell of a matchup. It's definitely a, a circle of the calendar. You know, take an early lunch. There might have been, well, not, not the national martial art for either country, but he got close, Chris will be close. It would have been more, uh, more Taekwondo and Judo, I guess? Thomas Parte, Parte, 31 out of 399. That's for Ghana. Was that a Poland Poland case hit? I guess it wouldn't really be a case hit. Maybe a. I think those do fall more than one per case, though. There's Julian Alvarez for Argentina, rookie card. Might make a name for himself as these matches go along. Oh, and a redemption. There's Mohamed Darame to 299. That Lewandowski, yes, goes goes to Mark. Any guesses on that redemption, everybody, for bragging rights? I forget who the redemptions have been, when and if we've seen them. That's a nice uh, hyper parallel for Gabriel Martinelli. Rookie card, Brazil. Michael with that one, Michael Duan. Got another rookie here, rookie red, William Saliba to 399. Ooh, maybe a Fati, hopefully someone good, yeah. There's Martin Hongla to 199. That will be for Cameroon. There's Nuno Mendes, Portugal, cracked ice. It's for Jason. Again, cracked ice, not numbered. There's a rookie silver for Argentina. That is Nahuel Molina. Aaron with Argentina. All right, it's going to be International Inc. That's Adrian Rabio. I'm a, this looks like a French last name. Yes, France. 27 years old, currently a mid central midfielder for Juventus.
Yeah. Mbappe did look pretty pretty darn good. I got a little investment in him to win the uh, golden boot. All right, we're halfway through this half case break, about another 20, 25 minutes to go. All right, next box. Yeah, uh, all the teams that made significant rotations or changes in that third match, I think all lost. I think Brazil lost, France lost. Portugal, I think, lost. Yeah, he's got, yeah, Mbappe's got five in three games. Hard, I, I know we're still in the middle of this World Cup, but hard not to think about the, the World Cup that's going to be here in the United States. We were, we were uh, on the USA match on Saturday. We we're talking about, you know, talking about like how much would you pay? Because one of the matches will be, one of the host cities will be um, SoFi Stadium. So if the U.S. All right, if the U.S. had a uh, a group stage match at SoFi. How much would I how much would I pay to see a group a group stage match? Like let's say let's see I'm getting how much do you think they'll be? Like nosebleeds. There's Darwin Nunez. Mbappe? Woo! International Inc. Killian Mbappe. Wow. That's for Sean Maddock and France. Get some of that box dust out of here. Put it in a cleaner top loader here. There we go. Hey, you're welcome, Sean. This, this, Sean, this might pay for, uh, this might pay for a couple seats at a group stage match four years from now. That would be awesome. There's Ali Golaza, Golazadeh. For Iran, that'll be for uh, the combo. Mark thinks they're going to be a thousand dollars a seat if it was, if it was at SoFi. Am I am I going to be paying a thousand dollars? I better start saving now. There's Bukayo Saka. I couldn't pass that up though, right? Especially if it's the US. There's Hyun Min Sun, 118 out of 199. Valiant effort for the Koreans this World Cup. That'll go to Jin. And we've got a Connections Gold, Angel Di Maria and Lionel Messi. Three out of 10, nice low number there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I gotta start saving. Aaron, with Argentina, I gotta start saving up. Watch, they'll they'll probably. I don't know how the. Uh, is it random.org? How do they choose which group stages will be at which city? I would imagine it would happen before they 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 put all the teams into groups, right? There's Pau Torres to 75, just so there's no no complaints of, oh, like, you know, Mexico City's in Group C, and, they, and Group C's playing Mexico City or something like that. You know, if El Tree's playing Mexico City, or Monterey, or Guadalajara, any of those places. Min Q Song or Song Min Q Rookie Silver for Korea for Jin and Paul Pogba seventeen out of forty nine for France for Le Bleu Raheem Sterling scores club silver. Oh, and Cody Gakpo. Gakpo. Oh, That's for the Netherlands, Rob. Let's see if we can find a silver of his. That would be pretty awesome. Or anything numbered, lower numbered. Jonathan David, Canada, that'll be for Sean as well. That's one to look out for in four years. And for Tunisia, Medjbri. Hannibal Medjbri. All right, two boxes to go. Am I doing face paint? Maybe dressing up as Uncle Sam? Not, not really a dresser upper in uh, costumes, but face paint? No, I don't think I'll do face paint. This, this face is much too, uh, much too important to damage with, uh, with, with paint-like chemicals that I'm sure will wreak havoc on, uh, on your skin. But, but, would I, uh, would I use an American flag as a cloak? Maybe. You know, maybe like a, maybe like a, like Apollo Creed before he, he fought Drago. Would I wear Stars and Stripes boxing shorts? I might do that. It'll be in the summer. It'll be a proper, proper World Cup, summertime World Cup. No, not Kid Rock style, but Apollo Creed style boxing shorts. Maybe a, I don't know, I feel like an Uncle Sam top hat would be a little too much, but if I had like the, uh, what about the crown of the Statue of Liberty? Pop one of those on, pop a, uh, an American flag over me, some, some Stars and Stripes boxing shorts. Phil Foden, something like that. There's Mohamed Darme for Denmark. That's going to be for Matthew. Will Ferrell style? Did, did he wear a Statue of Liberty crown?
There is Serginho Dest, 131 out of 399. There's Christian Erickson to 199, 004 out of 199. Got a Felix Torres for Ecuador. Look how happy he looks there. I scored, scored a goal. Ecuador, that's gonna be part of the combo spot. That's for Stephen Carney. Oh, there was a skit where he wore USA guard for it. Okay, I gotta, gotta look that up. Flag style Speedo shorts. I'm not sure if I could pull that off. Looking up the James Brown living in America. Yeah, I, I could I could probably do that. Maybe I'll just... No, well, Apollo Creed does wear the... Does wear the a big top hat. Some argue... Some have argued that, uh, that the reason why... You know, that match ended so tragically... Is because because uh, Apollo Creed was gassed. You know, by the time all the pre pre show festivities was over, he was gassed when he was in the ring. There's Yuta uh, Nakayama for Japan. Matt Turner, 39 out of 75. Really nice World Cup for him. It's for the United States. There's more connections. We saw the gold one. Here's the refractor version, the silver version for Argentina. Aaron. All right, Bucks are trying to stay alive. Three minutes left. And just down by a touchdown now. Monday Night Football, we got Saints at Bucks. Saints currently leading 16. They were leading 16 to 3, but Buccaneers just scored. Now it's 16 9, 16 10, pending the extra point. We got Urian Timber, International Inc. rookie. For the orange, Rob. And Junya Ito, six out of 22. Uh, that's not a red, that's more like a burgundy parallel here. Out of 22, that's gonna be for David in Japan. It's the f first out of 22 I've seen maybe. All right, final box coming up. I'm surprised Vegas didn't get a, uh, a World Cup match or a venue, the brand new stadium. But so the venue, so in Canada, the Vancouver, Toronto, Vancouver and Toronto will host some matches. I don't think it's been determined where the final is going to be or semifinal match or anything like that, but. The venues are in Vancouver and Toronto for Canada. The United States from west to east and north to south. Seattle, San Francisco, uh, and LA. Kansas City, Dallas, Houston. And then Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Atlanta, Miami. In Mexico, it'll be Monterrey, Guadalajara, and Ciudad de Mexico. Should be a lot of fun. I think I, I'm not sure if this is, this is just speculation, but I think I remember reading somewhere that the initial plan was to 
was to kind of go west to east. So like group stages will be, group stages might be everywhere, but, but I think opening, opening game or opening ceremony or whatever will be in Los Angeles. Group stages might be, might be everywhere. And then they might um, do like quarterfinals in central time and then semifinals in the final uh, on the East Coast, maybe in New York and in New York. All right, final box, everybody. Exciting times. Now, I think towards, I think in between one of the one of the stages coming up in the next few weeks, we'll know where the 2030 World Cup is supposed to be. There's Julian Alvarez. And there's Denmark's Joachim Meili. There's He Chan Huang to 299. That's for Korea, that's for Jin. I think. There are no, a number of bids happening here. There's a Diego Linas for L3. And our final autograph is Hakim Zayek for Morocco. We'll see. I don't know if he starts, but we might see him in action tomorrow. That'll be for Steven and the combo. Four out of 25. Matthew with L3. There is a Maya Yoshida, 13 out of 99, for David and Japan. And there's a Noah Okafor for Switzerland. That's going to be for Daniel. And a silver Ricardo Pepe and Gabriel Martinelli. Brazil, that's going to be for Michael, Michael Duan. And the silver Ricardo Pepe. Here's, here's what I would do, Sean Maddock. Get this baby graded. Hopefully it comes back at 10. And just sit on it for four years. I mean, he should be a featured part of the team in four years. He might be that four, that goal scorer we need. 2030 World Cup. Africa's making a bid. I guess a lot of, a lot of countries doing like joint ventures here, right? Tunisia, Algeria is a joint venture. Spain, Portugal, Egypt, I think is doing a solo venture, right? I think Central Africa countries are trying to get together and do something here. Spain, Portugal, Ukraine bid, and Colombia, Ecuador, Peru bid, or Uruguay, Argentina, Chile, Paraguay bid. Some Asian bids as well, China, Japan, Korea, Australia. So there could be a lot of interesting, uh, could be interesting to see where the next World Cup is going to be. There's Joachim Anderson, rookie hyper for Matthew and Denmark. We got a Bernardo Silva, seven out of twenty-two. Another one of those burgundy or Merlot or Bordeaux color. Not like the cherry red ones. A Spain Portugal World Cup would be pretty cool. I don't think they've ever hosted, right? Spain or Portugal. There's Bruno Guimaraes. Rookie silver for Brazil. Might have, might have to go to that one. It's 
save up for a World Cup trip to Europe. That'd be pretty cool. All right, here's the proper red right here. Reds are three ninety nine. Brazil, Lucas Paqueta. And that, my friends, is that. That's the last box. Quick little uh, low-numbered card and autograph and some other highlights here, an autograph recap. That's out of 10, that gold. There's the Mbappe. That was strong. I'll snap a picture of that. There's the Redemption, the Martinelli Hyper, Lampard, Gary Neville. Really nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Second half in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll do another footy break with you next time. Bye-bye.